what's up guys all right so as in my last video you guys know i did a lot of upgrades to this car um i am going to do a review on the battle arrow v4 um that obviously means version four um <laughs> just in case you guys didn't know like some of you guys might not know all right anyway. um this is the 74 inch fiberglass aluminum chassis mount um this video is mainly on a review on my personal opinion. Um, there's some hate, but there's also a lot of love. Um, so if you're in the market for a chassis mount from Battle Era, whether it be for Miata, Volkswagen, um, Subaru, anything really, um, this will give you a pretty good idea on how the quality is, my loves, my hates, everything along those lines um all right so let's get into this before i get my life away like i normally do in all my videos so now i never really get any hate with this because it's just it's just ginormous um but like i did say this is the fiberglass edition um it is not the carbon fiber because carbon fiber is just on such a back order i was not willing to wait months and months and maybe a year to get a wing um so there <laughs> there's the fiberglass and you really i mean you could definitely tell because this is you know it, it's a black finish sorry i just washed the car for this video um but in all reality it's still a, a damn good wing it doesn't wiggle like my last one did all right let's get to what do you think we should do first loves or hates um, I think we should do hates first and end this video on a positive note. So my first hate is right here. So you see right here is a smooth spot and then the rest is all pitted. Um, now granted, it, this is aluminum and I do understand that aluminum does have its imperfections along with other things. But they could have at least sanded this down with a Dremel or something. You know what I mean? Like that's just something that I see a lot. Um, another thing is here, as you guys saw in my last video, I had a little complaint about it. This edge is not 100%. Um, that, that's a water bubble. I tried cleaning this before the video with like even a paper towel, but apparently the water just keeps running anyway. Um, but yeah, that's like not a perfect hole there. Camera's not really trying to focus. Um, sorry, I'm doing this on my phone. If you can't tell, I'm trying to get the, the level right here. Um, my GoPro kind of died and this is like last second kind of thing. Um, because I know you guys really liked the last video, so I'm trying to do more for you guys. Um, as you can tell, it is dark outside, so I'm in this beautiful shop at work. Um, trying to give you guys a video, <laughs> trying to give you guys a video because I know you guys like what I do. So, anyway, continuing on. So, as you guys can see, right here's a swivel spot. So, this bolt and this bolt are supposed to be here. This is not. So what, I'm gonna to explain to you what this whole system is. So this bolt here goes here, obviously, and this gives it room so you can still access the trunk. The whole wing will fold back. This is more of like the, um, the pivot point itself so the wing just doesn't fly off. And this here's my lock. Um, like I said, this is not supposed to be there. Um, the actual pin location is about right here. So in order for you to do that properly without having to cut a ginormous hole in the bumper is to relocate the pinhole. Um, Battle Arrow gives you just nuts and bolts and washers. So trying to put a quick release system in is not the easiest unless you do do what I have here, which I do like this system a little bit more. I do like the over, over the flap, over the pin lock mech. Now, yeah, it does kind of look a little trashy, but I, I go for function over really look. I mean, now, Granny, you're probably looking at me like, Kodiak, you're running a chassis mount on an all-wheel drive car. Okay, I get that. But I still want to be accessed my trunk because, as I said in my previous video, I am on air rod now. So if I have an issue with my air tank or my compressor or an airline blows or something along those lines, I can still get in the trunk. So that, 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 that was one little complaint. Um... <coughs> other than that it's not too bad except for these um they're a little not yeah i know i'm missing the bolt right there i, I just haven't gotten around to it but like, i don't i don't mind that because that's all my stupidity part but they, 
they just wiggle. I mean, they flex. So, I mean, the wing really, it doesn't move much, but like, it's hard. To, it's really hard to do that with one hand, I'll swear. But it does wiggle a little bit. Uh, majority of the wiggle does come from my locking pins. Um, it, it, it's gonna happen. But it doesn't wiggle a lot because with the air's hitting it, it, it pushes it to its lock safe position, essentially how we designed it. Um, another complaint is this actually comes with no instructions at all. Um, you're kind of, you're probably thinking, dude, it, it's pretty simple. It, it was, but it wasn't. I just got done working a really long day and I had to come home and slap this all together. Um, now, obviously I'm not gonna take the bumper off to show you how it mounts, but it's pretty simple. Um, you take your factory crash bar off, which is three bolts um, per side. Actually, it's two bolts per side and a nut. Um, you take that off and Battler actually sends you a whole new mounting setup. So you quickly replace your, your crash bar, which that is actually ingenious. I do like that. Um, so you do that and then you just set everything up. Thank God I didn't put it upside down, <laughs> but there is only one way down and one way up. Uh, but other than that, once you figure it out, it's not too bad. I do wish they would give you at least like colored instructions because for like super people like me, we do like pictures. That would have been kind of cool. Um, their customer service is not top notch. Granted, you really have to talk to them much. Um, they do reply pretty quickly on, uh, on Instagram. Uh, I gave them a couple pictures. I emailed them a couple pic uh, pictures of the car with the wing on and everything like that, just for, you know, if they wanted them, I doubt they're going to want them. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's, those are really my main complaints about everything. You know, the holes not being cut right. So I'm probably gonna have to cut them, redrill, or not redrill, but like, I was thinking about taking like a new hole saw to the holes, make them fresh, recoat it. But another, well, actually, you know, another complaint here, as you can see, that's actually a shiny spot. And then it, that really doesn't come off there. So what's happening here is when I pull the wing back, it's scraping everything. So what a cool part from them would have been to slap a piece of rubber with it. All right, I can probably go to Home Depot and buy me a piece of rubber or something. Again, not a huge deal but that would have been kind of cool for them to do. Granted, 99% of the time, people that do do a chassis mount wing, they really don't care about the trunk, their hatch, or anything like that. So, that's really the only complaints that I do have about this wing from Battlero. Um, obviously, they're not gonna tell you how to cut your bumper because everyone does them differently. As I said in my last video, I did take windshield washer fluid hose and just cut down the middle and kind of made a cool little setup here. Kinda, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, guys, it, it's still a damn good quality wing and everything like that. So I can't complain too much. Now, was this worth $1,250 with free shipping? Yes and no. Um, yes, because you get some serious kill points on it. It makes the car look cool. Uh, clean fresh it, like I think they look way better than any trunk mounted wing I don't think it was worth that much because of the cuts how dirty the cuts are if you want to classify that um, having to drill extra holes when I shouldn't have to stupid little things like that I would have paid after knowing everything like this nine to a thousand nine hundred bucks to a thousand bucks so Whatever, I know they're all made in America. They're based out of California somewhere. The customer service could be a little bit better, but again, I only had to contact them through via Instagram and they were still really fast. I've heard other things about their customer service representatives on the phone. I never had experience that, so I'm not gonna give them a one star on that. I'm gonna give them like a four star, maybe a three and a half, but, <laughs> I mean, what do you guys think? Do you guys like the wing on the car? I love the wing on the car. A um, little background as well. You do have multiple options with the wing. You have a 66 and a 74, both fiberglass or carbon fiber. Your struts are aluminum, which I do have here is aluminum, or steel. 
and then you got two different wing end plates. I got the uh, the Tom Attack. You can also get the Boomerang, which they come, they like shoot out, and I, I don't personally like them. But that's pretty much my little review on the wing. Pretty good install. Um, like I said, I've been a little nice with an instruction manual, but I mean, what are you going to do? So install, I'll give that a solid 8 out of 10. Quality, I'll give it a solid 7 out of 10. Um, function, I'll definitely give it a 9, and a, nine, nine and a half out of 10. If it's perfect for how that works. Um, durability, a solid 9 and a half out of 10. Um, because the only reason that's getting in that is because of the strut bars are kind of poop. So I might make new ones. Um, cost, I'll, I'll have to give that like a seven, seven, yeah, a solid seven out of 10 because it is pretty expensive for what you're buying. But 10 out of 10 would definitely do this again. Good job, Battle Arrow. I do love the product. Yes, I have a few little things I don't like about it, but still I would buy this again. Um, if I do ever get a car again after the Subaru, I would totally put one on because I, oh my gosh, I just love how it looks on this car. Watch hose incoming. I mean, it's just, it gives it just such an aggressive look. I don't know guys. I like it. I know some of you guys are going to hate it, but that's completely fine. I don't care. It's my car, not yours. Um, but again, this channel is for you guys. So I kind of do care. Um, but all right, guys, that is my, well, I guess we can call this my 13 minute review on the Battle Arrow V4 chassis mount for the 14, sorry, 13 plus, not ah, damn, for the 15 plus Subaru WRX and STI. Um, again, I'm doing this on my phone, so I'm totally not going to cut out that 13, 14 part. Yeah, just, we're just going to ignore that. But all right, guys, that is it for this review on the Battle Arrow make sure that you do click the next video because i will be doing the diffuser next and after the diffuser i will be doing a burn shout out for the grill make sure you guys don't miss these they're going to be dropped back to back to back within a week's time but if you're going to be new you're going to see them back to back to back all right guys make sure you drop a like make sure you drop a comment do you like it do you don't like it let me know and also Make sure you subscribe. But while you're subscribing, make sure you smash that notification bell. All right, guys, I will see you on the next upload. Be safe.